attribute, I should say, is only having the most money. New tonight at 11 o'clock, a group of Chico people say that they're victims of a hate crime. But police say their story doesn't add up. So we sent KRCR News Channel 7's Trace Leong to get the facts. Clear that the reason that they had a problem with us was because some of our group was in drag and all of the members of our group are openly gay or bisexual. And so it's pretty clear that it was a hate crime based on the fact that, again, that they were throwing slurs back and forth, that they were throwing lots of slurs back at us. And that Saturday morning, Richard says he and his friends were victims of a hate crime that took place near the Jack in the Box in downtown Chico. Ran up behind me and punched me in the jaw and took off running. So I ran to catch up with him. Um, while I was chasing after him, I fell. And as I was getting back up, um, I was told that someone ran up behind me and jumped on my head, slamming my head down into the pavement, into the ethically targeted because two of my uh, friends who performed that night were in drag. Um, we were, you know, getting slurs um, based on our sexuality, um, based on race. Police say they were told a different story about two separate incidents. You know, as as the conversation has come to me about sides, um, the the issue from my perspective is that there were citizens that were subjected to a horrific hate based incident, and then a while later, a friend of theirs was subjected to an act of assaultive behavior that was criminal. And together as a community, our focus should be on identifying those who are responsible for it, not uh, a focus on who's right about whether this should be characterized as a hate crime or not. Ultimately, um, the facts make that determination. People in the community say by not calling it a hate crime, it sends the wrong message. It's okay to bash us. It makes it the people who did it think, well, that's fine. No one's going to hurt us for doing this stuff. So we, it's okay to be ha hateful. And to it makes me feel unsafe that we can't, that we have to make it a press issue before it can be handled as such, when it should be handled that way from the begin with, when that's part of our state law. We need to really take some responsibility. I would like us as a community to, you know, really you know, take this on and say, we do have a problem here. Our city is violent. People are being attacked. Um, perfectly normal citizens and homosexuals, if we want to put it that way, are being attacked for no good reason. Morning in Chico, Tracy Leong, KRCR News Channel 7. New tonight, a woman accused of running over her boyfriend with a car that led to his death has agreed to a plea deal. Jeannie Gastineau is going to face 11 years in prison after accepting a plea from volu for voluntary vehicle, uh, vehicular manslaughter. Gastineau was arrested.